everybody. Friday, September 26, 2014's weekly wrap-up. And what did we do this week? Well, released a clip of the My Girl Harmony Packet, and it's step one. And what is step one? Well, I'm going to release it in this order. What I'm going to do is start with the bottom harmony, then the middle harmony, then the upper harmony of the background parts. Now, actually, the bottom harmony and the upper harmony are the two true harmony parts, and the lead vocalist is the other part. So I'll work on the first two harmonies that are truly the harmony singer's parts, and then I'll do the lead vocal and intersperse that with the harmony. Make sense? hope it does. I think it will. And also, by working on the harmonies first, you really get to know the tune well. And if you just want to be a backup vocalist, well, here you, here's your chance. You're going to get your opportunity to learn specific harmony parts and sing against the other harmony parts because I'll have it all broken down in all the different ways. And I do these same things with the courses every every time, meaning uh, I like to approach these courses like you're in a band and you're rehearsing in the band and you're learning your part and you're singing your part with other people. And I really take some time out on each of the specific parts so you really can learn them specifically and talk about where they are in your range and so forth. And incidentally, now this is My Girl and it's the guy version. I've done two versions of My Girl. I did the version that I'm working on now and I also did a female version with a female singer singing the lead vocal and all of the harmonies. So be expecting to see that as well. Anyway, that's what was released this week, the first clip in My Girl. And besides seeing more on the harmony course, more on My Girl and uh, rock star Bobby Kimball, lead singer of Toto, popping up here pretty soon. Another thing that I've been doing, and uh, I've got some prepared, you'll be seeing them next week, is fly on the wall videos. I finally got to the point where I'm now in my studio as I'm teaching, having students come in, and specific students who are kind enough to let me do this are uh, volunteering to let me videotape their lessons, and then you can experience that right here on the web by looking at the Fly on the Wall videos. And uh, I'll pick specific topics as I'm working with different students, both male and female voices. So be on the lookout for that. They're lots of fun, and uh, I think you'll enjoy hearing a student go through their lesson, why they're doing what they're doing, making the mistakes that they're making. They can go ahead and make mistakes. That's the whole point of it. And uh, I'll correct them and work with them just as if the cameras weren't even there, just like it says, like there was a fly on the wall just checking out the lesson. That's the way we're doing these. So be on the lookout for those. I've already done two. I just haven't aired them yet. Now on the musical tip of the week, uh, you know what? I just told you that I've been doing those fly on the wall videos. I'm going to show you a little bit of one of those fly on the wall videos where I'm working with a student to help her get up into her highest part of her range uh, to get that fourth register adjustment up there where the whistle register goes. And so I thought I might show you a little bit of that. And So here's Sue Turner, one of my students, and uh, check out uh, what she's doing and what I have to say with her. I've talked about this before in Musical Tips of the Week about how you can shave off the air and use some vocal fry and so forth, and I've demonstrated it, but I thought it might be fun for you to hear a student working on it having success and non-success, and uh, the directions that I give to them to help them get it right. So let's check this out. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about that fourth bridge. And like I explained before, there's four adjustments. There's chest voice, mix, head voice, and then there's what's known as a super head voice or a whistle register. And it works more often for females than it does for males. It's a little rare for uh, baritones and tenors to actually be able to truly get into whistle register, but everybody can benefit from this exercise. And so that's why I use this for everybody, and rather the guys truly make it up in the whistle register or not doesn't really matter. What does matter is that we can add a little bit more onto uh, what it is that we've already got. It's the fourth vocal fold adjustment, and by the time we get there, we're just on a speck of the vocal folds. So all I want you to do is take a shot at this. 
And the way we do it is to use vocal fry, but to use it a little bit higher. So we kind of take that and do that and kind of get the little bit guinea pig uh, bend up. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Do it again. Now, once you've gotten to that, and I'll do it, but I'll do it in guy range here. I want you to play with it a little bit, kind of go. See if you can find that and sort of hold on to it and make it a little e, 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 e like that. Can you do it? Yeah. Now, see if you can have a little bit more control with it and go. Exactly right. Do it again and try not to tense up too much okay. with the lips. Okay. Take a nice breath, keep good body alignment, do it again. Mm -hmm. Now, change it from a to a vowel sound, unless you use an oo because it's narrow to begin with, so it will go. Can you sort of feel, go back and forth between your little closed lip mm -hmm. exercise into an oo? And when you do it, try to relax the forehead and everything, but do it again a couple okay. more times. Yeah, so it just just sort of finding yeah. yeah, so it just just sort of finding that little extra bit. If the range was this long, it's like this much more. Okay. Now if I go <clears throat> in guy notes again, if I go ooh, that's kind of where my my head voice sort of reaches the top, but if I can add that little extra to it, mm -hmm. I get maybe a, another minor third, two or three mm -hmm. more notes up on top that way. So can you do that for me? Don't tr start so much down in your lower notes. Okay. Try to start in your higher notes, okay. and then take it even higher with okay. this concept. Yeah, one more time. That was great. Now see, now challenge it. Challenge it a little bit and see if you can take it okay. just a little bit higher. Remember, okay. when you get up that high, that you can't put too much weight into the cord or else okay. it'll break. Okay. Do it again. Well, that was great because that's up into that next bridge then you came down and you did come down and cross over your bridges now let's take a, uh, an exercise here and just sing an ooh vowel sound and see if you can apply that to the notes find that interesting I hope you do you want to see more you got to come over to the website and see the whole uh, clip in its entirety all right now if you're on YouTube and you're watching this well you got a little a uh, little information there and check it out and see what you think but you can also come on over to the website it's totallyvocals.com sign up for the free membership check out all the different courses beginning intermediate and advanced course a course on vibrato an ear training course a jazz scat singing course a harmony singing course and many 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 songs and breakdowns of songs with great singers singing them and my suggestions to help you sing just the way these singers are singing so totallyvocals.com check it out